Welcome to the boatyard here at Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is the all new 2022 Bayliner VR6 Bowrider. Now she's the flagship of the VR Bowrider class and is finished in a midnight purple blue hull with a red waterline stripe and a white bottom. Now Bayliner have come on leaps and bounds in regards to their finish and their build quality in recent years. This is testament to that. It will take up to 10 people out for a day on the water. At the back here we've got a big extended swim platform with this ever popular soft tread teak flooring apparent all the way throughout the boat up to the bow. Now you do have a tow and eye at the back here as well. You can also put skiers on the monster tower if you wish as well. Transom shower at the back here. Without further ado let's jump on board and take a little look inside. So certainly standing here at the transom it's blatantly obvious that it's a big upgrade texture wise, finish wise on models from previous years. So we've gone for the desert sand exchange option, but you still have your quilted leather and upholstery, quilted marine leather, sorry. That's consistent all the way throughout the boat. Now at the back here, this is a sunbed. You can lift that up and you've got a thermally insulated locker in there with a the drain so you can put ice in there. But there's also a refrigeration drawer on this too. Now access wise, you would just typically traverse over there. You can remove both those cushions. I'll show you that later on. And that just means it's one step down into the cockpit. But what you can also do is you can remove this section at the back. And that turns that into a nice day bed. So now we're in first and foremost alfresco dining so you can flip the table open there is dedicated storage for that just underneath there should you want to you can then also move this to turn it into an aft facing lounger or again you can move it one more time brings it all the way down into another day bed if you want you can remove the table you can also remove these bits remember i said earlier on and that gives you your ease of access straight out onto the transom there is your ease of access straight out onto the transom there. They've not cut any cost because you've got that soft tread teak flooring all the way throughout. We've got this very comfortable overspill seat as well. So if someone is in the water, you can keep eyes on them. Now, just while we're on the subject of in the water, you do have your monster tower with a bimini top as well. There's a full tonneau cover for this and the bow section as well. But one complaint we did have from people last year or the year before was storage wise. Yeah, great. You can have four skiers hanging off this but where do you stow your skis? You normally would just have to lay them down on the floor here and channel them. Now they've made this big enough, not only just to fit all your family's water skis, but you can fit a six foot pocket mechanic inside the bilge of the boat. Now previously where there was a bulkhead up at the bow, they have removed that. So that now runs full midship all the way up to the end of the bow. Perfect for your water skis. Now while we are on the subject of mechanics, let's take a little look at the engine. So she's powered by a Mercruiser 4.5 litre 250 horsepower V6 petrol engine. You do have up to five years warranty on that if you maintain it according to Mercruiser standards. There is the thermal lining for your thermally isolated box in there. And then you do have your fresh water tank also and that is the straps from where the battery will go. You can see the run up for the transom shower there also. Now that we have uh, Found, unfortunately, our mechanic has spontaneously combusted with his great knowledge of the Bayliner VR6 product. You can see just quite how far that goes up in there. So loads of space, that's your table leg for the teak cockpit table. Now moving on to the dash. So we do have a Simrad touchscreen. This is the upgraded glass dash system. So engine information, everything appears there. It also gives you chart plotter. Um, GPS and then you've got a sonar suite on the boat too. There's the Bluetooth stereo system. You've got all of your accent lighting. So because of the spec that this has, you've got LED mood lights that are within each of these cup holders. Then you've got your things like accessories, bilge pump, bilge blowers, anchor light, running light, electric windlass, which this has then your up and down features and then your horn too as well. All the dash is done in that non glare matte effect. And this is a carbon fiber wrap. Ladies, 
please do not worry, the boat actually comes with a head compartment. There is your chemical toilet, loads of space, toilet roll holder for convenience and then a little window to enjoy the view if you are a little bit longer than expected. Again, you can actually very comfortably get on that and there is good privacy. You don't need to necessarily close this, but even with this closed, it does make a big, big difference. So up towards the bow, wide beam forward technology, look at the port side there, how far the beam comes all the way up and then it's just really at the bow cleat that it then suddenly curves away and that's what gives you so much space up here for three or four riders. We do have our upgraded bow speaker system, then you've got cup holders underneath here is the electric winch. You've got storage on both port and starboard side, they're exactly identical and then that high quality fit and finish you can see the diamond stitching there. What we'll do first and foremost is we will get the cushions in here to turn this into the forward daybed. Now they very simply go down and I will just march over and give you a look at what that looks like from up here. So there's loads of space now. Actually, if I take a seat up against this, loads of width for me and two or three of my big pals to come and sit up. Now also what you'll tend to find is that the vast majority of owners, if there's no one riding up in the bow, They'll close that across and that forms your wind block so you don't have the wind channel and gushing down there making everyone freezing cold inside. Let's get this away and we'll move on with the rest of the boat. So one of the final notable features on the boat, yeah you've got your aft cooling locker but you've also got this. Now this is actually refrigerated so there is a control for the air runs off the 12 volt battery system that'll take up to 25 litres keeps it nice and cool underneath the navigator seat. So just finally, you do have an aft storage locker there. That is where the teak cockpit table lives. You then, if you unbutton this, have another storage locker there that has a drain on it. And then just while we take a look at the sort of finish on it, that is ripstop material. Then the marine leather is really, really nice and smooth, but it does really look very plush, especially, I think a big thing guys, is the flooring element of the boat. Really, really lifts it compared to just bare GRP. So this is the biggest VR in the Bayliner class. It's the biggest bow rider that they make. And they have made it very, very special. What a wonderful, finished to the boat. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water, begins.